at Epson with at the BET conference, the education conference right here at, in London. So hello, so who are you? Oh, my name is Nick Damon, how are you? <laughs> and uh, this is a laser-based ultra short throw with a camera system right here. It can, it yeah. can, and a whole bunch of things happening with IR and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's interactive. Yes, it's pen and uh, finger touch. So here's the pen and you can obviously change the size of the pen. And obviously you also have the ability to uh, use finger touch as well, so just a uh, finger touch as well. So it's you have both at the same time. So you have two pens and a finger at the same time. So it's a laser projection. Yep. That that means this is the brightest, uh, the best image right now. Well, what it basically is with laser projection. Obviously, um, historically, of course, projectors have been done with lamps, um, and the lamps have one have two slight issues. One, they gradually degrade over time, and eventually they need to be replaced after so many thousand hours. Um, the interesting thing is that historically everyone's thought that uh, that's a very expensive process, but with, uh, with Epson we've now, even our standard system over there, we've massively reduced the cost of lamps. So even that is like, you know, a few euros rather than it used to be 250, 300 euros, now it's like 60 or 70 euros. Really? But with a laser lamp source, um, it's effectively a, a solid state light source, it's got its own built-in filtering system. It's fit and forget, this thing is guaranteed for 20,000 hours, which in a school is a minimum of 13 years use. They should just leave it on all day, right? And mostly, yeah, mostly eight hours a day, 200 days a year, 1,600, uh, 1600 uh, hours every year, 20,000 hours, 10 years 13, 13 years without any 13 serving. years. And it's, got, it's also got a seven year warranty, so hey, There's no need to turn it off. Well, power consumption, obviously. It's not yeah. very green leaving it on. Well, you can have solar panels. Well, actually, Many companies have that. It also, also has a lower power consumption than the, the, the bulbs from. So, um, this has the best uh, short throw optics in the world right here. It's, it's very, very, uh, very close to how yeah, big is I the mean, screen? Th th this is currently uh, about 83 inches. It goes to 105. The thing to remember is, is that the only company fully invested in the projection marketplace is in, for, for education is Epson. We are the only company who only sell projectors in the marketplace. We don't sell flat panels because we don't believe they work particularly well in an education environment, mainly due to the fact that, of course, it's uh, size matters. You, you have a 65-inch panel, people can't see it when they're back over there. So the point about it really is that we have much larger screens. And of course, in an actual school environment, this would be much larger because it's just condensed down for the uh, purposes of the display environment here at the BETC show. Could you write BETT 2018? Uh, so I'm just... Uh... Uh, so... I have very bad handwriting. Yeah. So... Uh... People use the finger. What is this pen you're using? What is something special about it? Uh, it's just a, uh, an infra just an infra a, 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 a pen that's more, a bit more accurate than a finger. Just nobody's doing it. Like. I mean, this is this is just basic whiteboarding features. There's nothing specifically clever about this. What's clever about it, obviously, is how it will interact with your smart programs, with your Promethean programs, and everything else. You know, it can, it can, this is currently set as a whiteboard, but it can also be effectively just a mirror to a screen. This is a mirror for a, uh, a web page or anything else and you have a full use of everything. You know. And thanks to the short throw, the, the issue with the, there's not so many issues with the, what's called the shadow is down. No, so actually you, you don't feel so much don't, issue with the shadow. You haven't got the issue you have obviously traditionally with some projects where you've got to stand in front of the light because there's no light to stand in front of. There is a small amount of shadowing, but nothing that actually... Um, Everything you touch is still there. Yeah, but nothing will actually affect the, uh, the quality of the teaching or anything like that. It's just, uh, you know, it, it is a... This is why the USTI has got ultra short throw is so popular within schools, because it doesn't have any of those issues. And one of the things that's, that's absolutely key to think about, the, the thing that it's mainly rivaled against these days is a flat panel. We don't, as Epson, compete against other projector manufacturers within this marketplace, in the ultra short throw marketplace, because with the three LCD and everything else, we have it kind of tied up. The thing to remember, the thing is, when it's actually it's most useful, in many ways, is when it's turned off. When you turn this off, you've got a lovely, lovely whiteboard, which teachers can teach you in their normal way. Is that the normal whiteboard? Yeah. I can use soft white pens and rub them off again. If I turned off my 65-inch no? screen, I'd have a big black panel I couldn't do anything with. So we, we allow the school to keep the real estate for standard teaching, while still having the advantage to be able to do interactive teaching using the USTI projector. So you just have this installation right here on the wall yep. that kind of like puts it right here. What is this? That's the uh, touch sensitivity. That, that, that's, that's what's picking up my finger position. So is this part of this uh, this um, no, this solution? Is, that is just this board. This board here. This board. Yeah. Is it interactive board or no, what the is board it? Board is just done. 
It's not there's just no, a board. There's no interactive, there's no inter the, the interactive board thing is the thing that's... It's just a whiteboard. That's, that's smart technology from 10 years ago. No, this is just a whiteboard. Um, they, they come in many sizes, many shapes, many qualities. This is kind of a, a mid-level quality, uh, only at 83 inches. I think it'd be much, much larger one. And you can have a... Speakers up here, but you could also have a surround in the classroom. Yeah, I mean, this, this is a uh, uh, one idea of how it would be. But the thing to remember is, is the actual, as far as the speakers are concerned, you can do what you like. You haven't got to have the Epson speakers, you haven't got to have the Epson control box, you can choose someone else's board. We like to provide, you know, it's nice for us to provide an all in one package, it's easier for the schools to buy it. But obviously, different companies in different countries will put their, you know, the AV companies will put their packages differently and they'll sell it in a different way. So, what's the lumen right here? Uh, this is 4,000. 4,000 laser, is that better than 4,000 lamp? No. So it's just a lumen is a lumen is a lumen if you've got three LCD. You've got DLP, as I told you earlier, and you've got color, you lose a third of color. So a, a white 4,000 lumens is the same if it's laser, if it's uh, three LCD, which we have here at Epson, or if it's uh, um, DLP. But when you have color involved, the DLPs drop significantly their, their lumens, whereas the three LCD, which is also with this laser or with the bulb, uh, retains full brightness at all times, no matter how much color is involved. The product over there with the bulb, that's your previous product? It's still there, it's still alive, it's not previous, it's still, it's still part of it. Uh, uh, I mean, how much lumen is that? It's 38. 30, so it's nearly... About 200 300 less. But uh, what else is better with laser? Is there, is there more color, more contrast on the laser? The, thing about, the whole point about laser is it's a completely fit and forget reliable system. It doesn't have any of the inherent problems that a bulb will have, and it also uses less power. But, so in the life of the system, in, in, these, these bulbs are, this bulb there, it's still 5,000 hours, which is three years, three and a half years. They're only 80, 90 euros to a place, another three years. This is, you know, 13 years. It's, it's just a case really of, of, of it is a bit brighter. It and runs it, less hot. And it's but also you don't not as hot, and it is a little bit quieter as well, which is a key right. point. Because yeah. it's nice. obviously less hot, less fan, quieter. Nice. Uh, so what's the price? Uh, in the UK, uh, this, the whole setup here is about £2,600. Um, it's, that's not the RRP, that's what you actually pay for it. £2,600? Yeah. £2,600? About only. that. Yeah, about that. For, for everything? Yeah. For the... Yep. This is part of Epson? Technology. Epson, 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 Epson. Um, the board is, the board is uh, quite a flexible thing because boards can cost as little as a hundred or as much as a thousand. This is a, a middle range board. This is a 500 or something? It's about 325. And uh, uh, what is this part here? Uh, that's just a, a, a very convenient sort of uh, a plug in. Because normally, obviously, the, all the connections are up there, aren't they? Yeah. With well, this one, they're here. So you can, you can just change the club. It's a little box. You've got all your plug in points, Whoa. you've got all your output points. So rather than having to worry about plugging into the, uh, the network or anything up there, it just extends that up. Is it one HDMI or more? Uh, I think it's three. You've got HDMI 2, you've got HDMI USB, you've got Breakout. It's got all sorts of You've got another load of, load of ones in the side as well there. So, Nick, so you've got that. And you've got a volume control. It, but this is completely optional. You don't need to have this part. This is just an extra bit of, you know, basically. Is that it included in 2006? No, it's actual, yeah, it's included, it's included in that, but it's yeah. not for product. Well, that's pretty cool. I'd like to have that one of those right next to my uh, sofa. <laughs> so well, it's good for the volume. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, uh, Epson is actually the world leader in projectors. Yes, it has been for the last 17 years. 17 year leader? So, in, since 2001, so since it's, yeah, 16 years, 17 years, we have been the number one in projection in the world, uh, number one projection in Europe, and we continue to be that way for the business. But, I mean, uh, that's because there's so many companies doing DLP, but if, if you put all the DLPs together, do they sell more in the uh, We have about 39% of the market. 39%? Perhaps it, it, it's very different countries. It's always been around country, that? Country to, no, it's growing all the time. Country to, country to country is completely different. It's different every country, but that's the average across Europe. Has it been 60% at one point, 10 years ago? Some countries have been. Yeah, it has been, right? Not for us, no, 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 because it, it's been a, a gradual growth. But what we have to realize is that, is that with Epson, we've always been the number one the number of the few years. What has happened is that the number of uh, companies competing has gone down. Our products have got recognized as being better, and it's kind of a, a gradual climb in the corporate market. I mean, in the, in the low-end consumer market, obviously, that's, that's different companies have a larger market share, but in the in the corporate market is much, much more uh, absolute. So uh, you believe definitely there's no need for those large 75-inch uh, TV, interactive TVs that some other companies are doing, right? The 75-inch TV... It's better with the projector. The 75-inch TV is more expensive. 75-inch TV eats up the entire real estate in your classroom. It can only be a TV, it can't be a whiteboard. And there's a thing called Size Matters. And 
with these units going to 100 inches, a 75 inch TV cannot be seen from more than about 5 metres, 6 metres, properly to work with by a child. And most classrooms are 8 to 10 metres long, whereas these, these units can, can be seen the whole way. So there's a, Maybe 150 inch? Uh, the, the, they run to 100, these actually run maximum 105 inch. Maximum 100. Yeah, just where the optics work and everything else. You can't move it a little bit further back and make it bigger somehow with this. No, it it's internal. Work. It's an internal lens. Which is the yeah. focus. Yeah. Is that uh, infinite focus? This one, uh, you have to adjust the focus. Uh, no, it's, it's, it's got all the normal lens shift and focus, but you, you, you have a because of the amount of the way the actual optics are. There's a maximum width you can get to, and that's 100. Mm -hmm. That's 105 inches. So. Uh, are you dependent a lot on what Microsoft is doing or no, other companies no. doing? No. Because it's very important to have very good collaborative uh, well, wide board uh, uh, solutions. The thing to remember is, is that we have we have inbuilt programs like the like the Eye Projection app, which allows you to uh, mirror uh, an Android or an iOS. But when you get into this mode here, effectively what we are is a touchscreen PC. Just the touch screen is here rather than on the PC screen. So it doesn't so anything Microsoft does which works on their computers works on our screen. But are there other fantastic uh, solutions already? The, the the perfect kind of way of collaborating or keeping uh, nodes secure inside the corporation. Doesn't, doesn't Everything is nothing, right nothing there. changes because it, it, effectively if, I, if I'm if I write on here somewhere and I save it, it's saved somewhere on the network. Because at this point, it is effectively front-ending a PC or a Mac or a Chromebook, whatever it is. It's just acting as the screen for that, for that product. It's not effectively adding any intelligence to it. It's just mimicking it and, and working with it. Um, you know, so yeah, wherever you're saving, you're saving it there. So it's, it's network for network connected selection of the projector. You're saving it in the network, and any program you run through it will work on it. Right now, you don't have a 4K solution uh, for short throw. There's, there's, there's no, the short, after short throw and short throw don't have 4K, mainly because there's not an awful lot of use for them. Because again, we're talking about a teaching environment where most people, all the people are interacting up front. That's quite nice, but most teaching is done with people a fair way. And if people are fair way, well, you can't tell the difference between 1080 and uh, and 4K. There's a, obviously, in our commercial side and our pro display, there's plenty of 4K and 4K emulated uh, devices. All right, so this is a, a growing market. Uh, uh, it's already quite big. Um, the interactive, the UST interactive, we've been selling for many, many years. We've, we've, this is about the seventh or eighth new model we bought out. We have, and behind this model, are, are, are all sorts of other models. About we've got, we've got about nine ultra short throw models, with five of those being interactive, four of those just being uh, dumb projectors. So it's a huge range. What's the starting price? The cheapest solution. About six hundred quid. Six hundred quid for interactive short. No, no, for, for ultra short throw. Ultra interactive, short throw. ultra interactive about nine hundred. Nine hundred. And when you add the interactive, you just need one of those boxes, or how does it work? There's because two, there's a camera. Yeah, there. there's two. That, that is the touch interactive. What, what does it do? This one. It, it, is it connected to the display? Yeah, or it, is it, it, it can see, it can see where your, it, it can see where your finger is. It works where your finger is. It's sending out IR yeah. to everywhere. Yeah, that one there. Is, so there are two different types of interactive. You have interactive by pen or interactive by touch. So standard interactive comes with a pen, the more expensive interactives come with touch and pen at the same time. So um, this box adds like three, 300 or something to a short throw. The interactive, kind of. which, is both, which is the interactive element there, which is the IR and the pens, that's a 300. There's different models come with a touch. We actually have different model breakups. But 900, it's not very expensive. Well, you should buy something. And it's 1080p? Yes, uh, it's w, WXGA. And it can do 100, more than 100 inch? 105 inches, yeah. 105 inch. So um, it, it should be in, uh, potentially in every classroom, every meeting room? Well, it would be very nice if it was, but uh, you know, there's, there's, even so, even at you know, 900 or 1,000 pounds a unit, it's, it's still a very difficult thing for some schools to afford when you've got you know, 40 classrooms. One thing I was just wondering, because laser uh, historically has been like, be careful your eyes, don't look at the laser. But does it no, have that's, anything? That's not, it's not, when it's, it's projector, it's not, it's, not like, it's not really like the laser you used to see in a CD player with a warning. It's a completely different. It's white light laser. It's just no issue. It's, no warning. No, it's, it's, if, it's, if you look into that laser, there's no issue compared to light bulb. Totally it's fine. Same. It's well, basically, what you're doing is you're staring into a 4,000 lumen light source. It's pretty bright. You shouldn't do it. But that's not because lasers. Because a 4,000 lumen light source. Yeah. Cool. And uh, so 4K. Uh, there's only for. What's it called? Uh, the 4K obviously is, is, is rolling out throughout the range, but it's it's currently in the pro display. My, I, I very much doubt it will come into this, our, our school's 
for several years. I mean, there are four elements to, uh, to Epson's uh, projector range, and then there's crossover between them. You've got the consumer, you've got uh, corporate, you've got education, you've got pro display. Pro display are the things which are massive great things which do like theatres and auditoriums, and also do the advertising stuff on the side of walls and that sort of stuff. And there's a lot of 4K in there, obviously, because it's just for the massive roof. Um, obviously, the consumer, we're bringing up the, uh, the top of our consumer range to have some 4K in it. And corporate is a sort of requirement, but not really. In education, 1080p is more than enough.